I'll do. Let's put the mash on. Time to drain a wheat beer, mess around with it, throw some coriander in there, some kaffir lime leaves, stuff like that. Um, anyway, while that's draining, I'm going to do a beer review. You may have saw now on the news feeds and what have you, all on YouTube, on Brewtube, John Anderson has sent out his New England IPA version 2. Um, very lucky enough to try one, am I? So, this one come out at 6.5%. I don't know what his version 1 come out at, I can't remember. I'll have to go back and have a look. Um, I think he's thoroughly made up with this. And by the signs of it, everyone else is who's been sampling it. So, I'm going to crack her open and see what I get on it. Just got a New England RPA bottled up myself at the moment as well. So John will be getting one of them in return as my version 1. So, here we go. It's all a fantastic label, as Matt Callaby was saying. Got to town on his labels. This is a Red Dog New England RPA V2, 6.5%. It's coming up. I'm going to pour this in a standard Brewdog glass. I need to. Um, I need to get on a ball rail and get some proper glasses like all you guys have got. I'll tell you something, the aroma is hitting me straight away. So powerful. Oh, smells beautiful that. It's all going in. Bottles straight off his keg. As far as I'm aware. You can see the colour on that guys. Beautiful. Hazy. Bubbles like this streaming up. Yeah. On the aroma, very um, like a, a nice bit of mango there. Um, you know, you like your sweet lighters and all stuff like that. And obviously that punch of tropical. So, but that looks fantastic. You know, obviously you can't see my fingers through it. It's everything you want from a New England RPA, isn't it really? So cheers John, I'll go in fella. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Alright, we all good. Um, not overly, um, well, the, the bitterness, it's not really bitter in your face, but I, I wouldn't expect it to be anyway from his mash. I think it was just like, um, just basically marisotta and I think it was porridge oats. I don't think with his hop schedule, I think it was, it would have been much bitterness rating on there. I can remember talking through it. Um, but it's really smooth, a great body there. Um, it's just, yeah, top draw. He's done really good with this one. Eh? I think he bloody knows it as well. Mmm. Great mouth feel. Um, yeah, very mangoey and tropical. Um, mosaic comes through there. 
a lot. You get that, the, the grapefruit for the bitterness will obviously be from the citra. Um, well, it's El Dorado. That's just like a big tropical fruit bomb, as we all know. Um, but with that grassy piney tones with it as well. All that in a glass. Um, I think, I can't remember someone saying it, it doesn't seem like 6.5% beer. But I reckon it does that. I'm getting that burn on the chest there. Mm. Very nice, one. Very, very nice, buddy. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to send you um, back my New England IPA version one, which I thought was just, it was nice, good aroma on it, but it's powerfully bitter. But I remember that's because my hops was in too long. Um, I'm not sure, but, but V2, all good. So it'd be good for you to compare them side by side for me, if you don't mind, pal. Same cloth. Many of these, I'm sure I really could. I don't know how many, much you've got left. On these fantastic days like we've been having, I bet they've been going down too easy. That is phenomenal. Yeah. Don't know if I said that right. Don't roll off tongue too easy. Uh, but no, yeah, it's incredible that. Top work there, my mate. Um, yeah. A great tropical fruit bomb basically with a, a nice bitterness lacing through at the end. One to be proud of. Uh, appreciate you sending me that John mate and you'll get some back in return in a couple of weeks or being well. Mm. <laughs> Cheers guys. I nearly forgot. John's reminded me though. It was dank. Very dang. God bless you, pal. That was fantastic. Guys, stop around. Well, actually, look at the next video. I'm going to let these grains drain a little longer and do supercharger beer review. See you in a minute.